you know, we had a rough start and, with, you know, we had kids out with COVID. I mean, we had to take time off of COVID the first week of, you know, first couple of weeks of the season. So that was, that was difficult. But the last month of the season, we played pretty good football. We won three out of our four. We shut out two teams. So at the end of this year, kids were really coming together and buying in. We just thought it built a lot of momentum for the off season and kids are excited about football and probably working normally they probably wouldn't work as hard work as hard or work at all at football in the off season now we're getting them in the weight room we're not as big as where we will be a couple years from now because that just takes time to, to build but we have team speed and we're not slow and i'm even compared to other teams we play we're we got team speed we have a really good coach staff here probably one of the better coach staffs i've ever been a part of um, so I'm really excited about that in year two, um, you know, coming to work every day with guys with their experience levels and their ability to teach the game. Because really, if you have a great coach staff that can teach the game, you can accelerate, you know, where I think this can go qu much quicker. I've kind of watched um, your previews and I don't focus so much on the playoffs and I told the kids I really don't focus on that. It's really about maximizing their potential and we do all the things that we need to on a day in day out basis we'll have an opportunity to get there i do believe that but like it's the little things that i focus on and that's kind of my job i don't try to dream about the playoffs every night i, I you know if we're taking care of the locker room and guys are cleaning up the locker room after practice day that's you know that's focusing on details if guys are coming in and getting some extra work that's focusing on details uh, we got a fundraiser if they're focused on that that's details all these little things matter and they add up and in the end when you have a team that's committed to that, and I'm starting to notice that camaraderie of hanging out together and spending more time in the field house and not wanting to leave the field house. And some of the better teams I've been on have had that. So when you get that, then, you know, to me, the sky's the limit. I don't want to put pressure on them. I mean, right, we just need to have fun playing football, you know, and, and then hopefully get a good hot, you know, good start in the first three games. If we get a good start, and play type football we're capable of playing, then, you know, we can have the season that we all dream of.